Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Redstone 4 Windows 10 and this is build 17046 released today um, just before Thanksgiving for the United States and so basically it's a Thanksgiving gift from uh, Donna Sakar and the Insider team so uh, of course the install very long install this one longer than the previous build for me on both my home and insider machines but flawless so it worked uh, flawlessly took about two hours and a half on my home three hours plus on my main pro machine but it worked well and um, installed and we are at 17046 this build doesn't bring a lot of new stuff uh, basically it brings a few little things um, one of them for those that want to see the new features is text spacing in the reading view so of course reading view is by the way a feature I use a lot it is really nice because what it does is it takes for example an article you want to read on a web page there's tons of ads and there's tons of links and there's tons of little things well it just cleans that up into a very nice and beautiful little um, you know article that you can read easily without all the extra fluff basically um, it adds because you know reading view is nice but having a few other options in reading view is also cool while well, this one brings in the options uh, text spacing you can now actually change the space between you know uh, sentences and in paragraphs and all of that you can kind of you know help yourself kind of have a easier reading of the different articles you're reading and this is cool so this nice little uh, you know add-on basically the uh, second very interesting feature um, one of the things you know we were uh, learning this week that uh, universal windows platform apps will have tabs available eventually uh, and that's, that, that is something I really, really want to see. But um, basically, in this one, what we have is a new option. So any universal Windows platform app. So let's take, for example, the News app. When you right-click from the Start menu, you now have, when you check More, Settings. This was not available before. So now you can quickly go to the Settings, change whatever setting you want in each of the universal windows platform apps within windows 10 i think that's a nice little add-on also so apart from that you know what tons of things on emojis is pretty much the rest of it and i'm not a big fan of emojis personally so it's really you know emoji overhaul really there's emoji data overhaul a touch keyboard on emojis everything related to that and once again we see that the touch keyboard the emojis they're really working hard on that it's like one of the major things they want to really get right i think in this uh, version of uh, the insider builds for those that uh, have seen maybe my um, videos um, of course if you uh, have looked if you do the registry tweak and i'm showing it here on this build you now have this new Cortana search box, which is really, really cool. Um, you know, they're searching for a way, they're looking at how they can improve Cortana search. Um, according to their stats at Microsoft, the Cortana search isn't used a lot. And the biggest problem is they're trying to make it really available to everyone. So now you've got a lot of possibilities with that Cortana search. Uh, with filters and with, with the way everything appears documents uh, you can you know all apps you can search for everything depending on what you want you just you know um, choose whatever option you want to see within these uh, this new way of basically viewing and searching for stuff so here you can see web search yahoo search bing search and so on it's nice um, i don't know if it's going to improve upon the possibilities of search. But it, you know what? It kind of works and it's kind of cool. 
So apart from that, of course, uh, the usual, it seems to be a very staple belt. Um, I've, it, it's, it's been used for the past, uh, about the past five hours as the main feature. As in crash, no uh, green screen or equivalent of blue screens for insiders. Uh, seems to be pretty crisp, pretty fast. Um, no issues at all. So it seems to be stable. And of course, as we continue on with the builds of Windows 10, We'll be taking a look at all of that. Um, so, of course, if you haven't uh, checked it out, uh, you need to be in the Insider Builds and the Fast Ring. Just go to your Windows Updates and you'll see 17046. A uh, few people mentioned that 17040 was not working. They couldn't install it. Hopefully, that is fixed here. And, um, well, seems like another cool, very nice build to use. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you so much. Hope you enjoy our review. The latest build of Windows 10 Redstone 4 17046 released today, November 22nd, 2017.